Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to change our slides so that they automatically advance, but you don't have to click them, which we're going to need to do if we're going to make a movie. So we are going to go to Transitions, click on that. And you'll see here advanced slide and on mouse click it's clicked right now. We're going to also click after. So after, let's say we'll watch the first slide, two seconds. Okay, now we're going to go to the next slide. And we're going to say this is going to take a little longer, so we'll say five seconds. And you might want to read it and see how many seconds it takes to read it. So let's say this, yeah, we'll make it seven seconds. Okay, and that's basically it. That's all you have to do. And so you should do that for every slide. When you're done with that, and your show's all ready. You should preview it, so you should just watch it and see if the timings are right. And then the last step is we're going to save it as a movie. So I'm going to go to File, Save as Movie, And then for your movie options down here, we want to check and make sure those are correct. The slide transitions, they should follow your slideshow settings. So if it says none, make sure you change that to follow slideshow settings. And you want to show your movie player controls, that's good. And I would say apply these settings to all new presentations. Um, sounds good. Click OK. Give it a good name. And let's save this on your desktop so it's easy to find. So we're going to save this now. Okay, and it should end with a .mov, so then you're ready for your next step, which is to upload it to the Weebly. Okay.